Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. So if you guys remembered, a couple months ago, I upgraded the screen on my Mercedes C250 to the 10 inch Android screen. And so far, the screen's been amazing. It looks really cool. There's a lot of cool features and a lot of cool apps. The only thing that I wish it did have was Apple Wireless CarPlay. So now, thanks to DMP Car Design, there is a solution for Apple Wireless CarPlay. So I wanna thank DMP Car Design for sponsoring this video and providing me with a brand new receiver that's gonna allow me to run Apple CarPlay wirelessly to my Android screen. So if you're interested in buying this, I'll leave a link in the description below and don't forget to use my discount code at checkout. So this receiver will work with Apple iPhones, but unfortunately for Android phones, you will have to connect it via a USB cable. But for all the iPhone users out there, this is actually really easy to install. You just load an application on the Android screen, plug this in, hit the application, and your phone will start running Apple CarPlay wirelessly to the screen. So there's a few ways of loading the application on the screen. DMP Car Design actually has a downloadable link that you can download the application. So if you have internet on the Android screen, you can go to that link and download the app right onto the screen without the use of a computer. But for me, since I don't have internet to my screen, I opened up my laptop, download the app onto a USB thumb drive, and that's how I'm installing the application on the screen. So the process is really easy. Let's get to it. So the first thing I did was start my car to power up the screen, and now we're gonna install the app that I've already loaded onto a USB drive. I'm gonna stick that right into my USB port. And now I'm gonna go to apps, APK installer, Gonna hit install. The app is called Auto Kit. I'm gonna press that and we're going to hit install. It's all done. I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna exit back to my main screen. Remove the USB drive. And now, if I scroll to the right, there it is Auto Kit. So it says, please insert the product. So before I insert the new receiver, just wanna show you guys the settings on this. There's a lot of cool settings. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you can see there's a lot of different settings that you can do to this application. You could even change the icon. It comes at a car icon when you're in CarPlay that will bring you back to your regular screen. I can also change that to a Mercedes logo if I wanted to. Okay, so now I'm gonna insert the receiver. And I can hide this, this box later. It's connecting. Now it says, please connect the phone. So on my Apple iPhone, first thing for CarPlay to work is I have to make sure that Siri is enabled. But now let's turn on the Bluetooth. My phone is going to connect to my screen. BT8090 is my screen. And there's the AutoKit app. I'll connect to that. It's requesting a PIN. The PIN is 0000. It's connected. So next it says, please make sure the phone's Wi-Fi status is on. So now I'm going to go to Wi-Fi and turn it on. And there's AutoKit, I'm gonna to connect to that. There you have it, wireless Apple CarPlay. So I'm not gonna go through all the features of CarPlay, you can read about it on Apple's website, but I have access to my phone, music, maps, Google Maps, uh, we have Pandora, Spotify, Waze, my messages, 
and also WhatsApp. And again, if I'm in any of these, let's say that I go to Pandora, all I do is hit this button right here and it'll bring me back to this main screen. This button right here, I can also program that so when I touch it, then Siri will actually um, request what I wanna do. Uh, that's in the settings of the application. And again, that Mercedes logo, hit that. I'm back to my regular screen here. So every time I get into my car, as long as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is enabled on my phone, all I need to do is press the AutoKit app and it'll automatically detect my phone and wirelessly uh, activate CarPlay. Pretty cool. So there you have it, Apple CarPlay wirelessly to the Android screen. I think it looks awesome and it's been working really well for me. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.